To get started, I'm just going to unravel these twists. Yesterday, I did a live on Instagram, and I did this style very quick. I think it only took me like a minute and a half to do. All I did was two flat twists on each side, twisted the remaining hair, and then I just clipped it in the back like this. Of course, it looks really cute, but today is wash day. That's why I didn't bother to retwist my hair. All right, now that my hair is all undone, I'm just going to section it into four sections as I always do. It just helps me to manage my hair a lot better before I start this process. Now that my hair has been divided into four sections, I'm going to start by misting my hair with some warm water. And I have my spray bottle right here. I'm going to get it really wet because reading the instructions on the first product, it says to apply to your hair as it's wet. And if I feel that applying the product this way isn't really working how it should, like my hair doesn't feel as good as I want it to, then I will go in the shower and do this process. All right, so my hair is pretty damp, and my first product that I'm gonna use as my pre-poo, so my pre-shampoo treatment, is this Never Salty, it's a sugar-based scrub for the scalp and hair. And many of you know that I am an advocate for scalp health. You just don't want your hair to be healthy. You also want your scalp to be healthy. The directions read to apply the Duo Touch applicator directly to your scalp and roots after sectioning wet hair, and then you wanna move your fingertips in circular motions to deeply massage in. And then you just repeat in each section and rinse wet. So I'm going to further section my hair to three subsections within this quadrant. I'm going to apply just a little bit more water. I want to give this product a fair chance. So this section is pretty wet. So first impressions, I do like the way that it feels. It is very grainy. As I'm working this into my scalp and down the length of my hair, I do notice that the graininess is going away. So that is a good thing. I like when products, you can feel them working and they just kind of smooth themselves out. And it definitely has a minty smell and I can feel my scalp tingling. A lot of products I've noticed if it's catered to the scalp health, it does have that minty feel. So if you don't like it, then you may not like this product. It's pretty strong for me, but I know I'm going to rinse this out so it's not too much of a big deal. I'm gonna go into the shower after this section just because I feel that misting this is just a bit too much for right now. And I'm trying to get this wash day done like in an hour. I'm not trying to be here all day. I have things to do. It definitely smells like it has peppermint oil in there. Yep, it has peppermint oil in the ingredients. I can smell it. Ooh, it is strong. Fast forward, I went into the shower to apply the Never Salty Sugar Scalp Scrub directly to my scalp and down the length of my hair to the other three quadrants. And I felt that this process would be a lot easier done in the shower and I was totally right. Because the water was warm, it really helped to melt the particles of the scalp scrub directly onto my scalp so it can buff it really good. And also it just melted down the length of my hair as I was working it in. I really think that the warm water just really helped with this process, making it very easy. Everything seemed to be going fine initially and on the bottle it reads, Never Salty, a sugar-based scalp and hair scrub. I also followed the directions. I wet my hair. I applied this sugar scrub directly to my scalp and also worked it down the length on my hair because you can apply it to both your scalp 
in your hair but once I started working it down the length of my hair that's when I noticed the problems my hair started tangling it was just harder to finger comb the products in as you just saw my hair it just did not feel the same it felt really bad and I don't like the way that my hair felt and right there is when I noticed I thought it was just shedding which is normal but as you will see further in the video a lot of my hair just started coming out in clumps and that is not normal so as you see right here I'm combing right through my hair with no products in it I didn't wet it I didn't do anything I am finger combing my hair that section with ease and then I also put some water I'm also finger combing no hair is coming out and I just wanted to know for myself is it me is my hair shedding or is it the product I finger combed again after I rinsed my hair with a lot of water so I know that this section is fine my hair wasn't really shedding at all which is very normal for me but what once I applied the scalp scrub directly to my scalp, worked it in and also down the length of my hair, I noticed that more of my hair started coming out. Also, it was just hard to really manage my hair and my hair kept tangling up. And many of you that watch my videos, you know that my hair does not really tangle. And I got some of this scalp scrub near my eye, so not in my eye, but near it. And it burned like crazy. And again, more of my hair continues to fall out. And you can tell by my facial expression that I am not feeling this but I continue thinking maybe it was just a scalp scrub and it would be over but again more of my hair comes out so I just wash this out I was just over it at this point and this is the amount of hair that I'm used to losing on wash day total I finally rinsed the scrub out with some warm water I made sure to rinse it out completely get everything out and here's how my hair looks afterwards so I put my hair back into quadrants so I can apply the shampoo For my shampoo, I used the Serene Queen Gentle Shampoo, and it felt really nice on my hands, so I thought it would feel good in my hair, but it felt the opposite. This shampoo did not work on my hair at all. It's supposed to add like a little bit of moisture, but looking on the bottle, it says a daily gentle shampoo with lather to help purify, revive, and refresh the hair. So it definitely purified my hair. I just felt like it was too much on my hair. And again, more of my hair continued to shed. I saturated my hair with a good amount of water as I normally do and applied a good amount of the shampoo to the other quadrant of hair but the shampoo was not working well for me at all and even in my medium porosity section which is in the back the shampoo was causing a lot of problems my hair just kept tangling up it felt like there was a lot of friction being caused in my hair and I did not like that feeling at all my back section of hair is medium porosity so I find that products I get moisture, I'm able to retain moisture just as easy, but it's my low porosity section in the front. I feel that I had to do just a little bit more to make sure that my hair has that moisture that it needs, but the front section was worse. It just really got tangled and it just did not feel good in my hair at all. You could see my fingers were getting tangled in my hair and that does not happen. And I'm so serious when I say my hair rarely gets tangled. It takes a lot. Like if I neglect my hair for a week or two, then my hair may get a little bit tangled in the back. But other than that, my hair rarely gets tangled. So anytime where I use a product and my hair starts tangling up, I'm not going to use it again. And I would not recommend the scalp scrub or the shampoo. And I wouldn't need even let my mom use it because sometimes she likes to try products that I like or sometimes that didn't work for me because she has low porosity fine hair so sometimes products that don't work for me do work for her but based on my experience with both of these products I would not even let her use it and my hair feels really dry after rinsing the shampoo out so it's a definite no for me. And also my hair felt squeaky clean. Oof, that sound was like nails on the chalkboard. My hair felt so dry. It's never felt this dry before. So I was really hoping, keyword hoping, that the conditioner would make my hair feel so much better. I mean a little better, <laughs> at least the way that this wash day was going. So I used the Make It Rain Hydrating Conditioner. And I will say that it did feel good in my hair. It did have a lot of slip. And I love slip. When products have slip in them, especially my stylist, 
my hair just turns out so good but especially when conditioners have that slip in them i find that they work really good in my hair moisturizing my curls they clump together so everything seemed like it was going okay until i started combing my hair and i noticed that a little bit more of my hair started coming out so i didn't comb my hair as much as i typically would on a wash day with the conditioner because many of you know me and you know i comb the conditioner in every single wash day just because it helps to penetrate into the hair strap a little better than if you didn't so I had to take it very easy when combing the conditioner in my hair. My curls seemed to like the conditioner initially until I rinsed it out. And I twisted my hair with the conditioner in it. This just helps with moisture retention when I have a good conditioner in my hair. And I'm continuing to add more hair to my pile. I was just surprised at how much hair kept coming out. I thought it was just a scalp scrub and it would stop after step one, but my hair continued to come out in clumps with every single product. And after I've applied the conditioner to all four sections, I went back to the very first one and my hair, it did feel good after I left the conditioner in for a few minutes while I worked on the other sections. But once I rinsed it out, it didn't feel as good. It felt like I had that fake moisture, that fake hydration in my hair that just sits on top. But once you rinse it out, your hair doesn't feel as moisturized and nourished. And some parts of my hair, they were frizzy towards the ends. And I didn't like that. So honestly, I was ready to get this wash day over with my last step which is deep conditioner i use the real love protein treatment mask and this mask is so light it is gel based but i felt like i was putting a milky spray leave-in conditioner in my hair so not even like a thicker cream based leave-in conditioner it was so light and my hair needs that that love i thought when i bought it that this would be more concentrated you know how the wet line extreme gel is it's a gel but it's very concentrated and thick so i thought that this would be comparable to that but it is not at all it's like a very light gel so i had to put a good amount of this for my hair to feel like it was coated with something and i just continue to apply this to all four sections of my hair And even after applying this protein treatment mask to this quadrant of hair, the ends still felt like they were being neglected, so I had to apply a lot of this to say the least.
After I finish applying the mask to all four sections, I am going to put a shower cap on and I remove the clips. I'm going to take my shower and let this mask sit on my hair for about 10 minutes and then rinse it out. And the drain got clogged despite how careful I was in trying to have a nice little pile of hair. So I did lose a lot more hair than this. This was just the hair I was able to save. So now it's time to rinse this mask out and just be done with this wash day. And I rinsed with cool water. And after I rinse my hair very well with cool water, here's how it looks product free. I don't like the way my hair looks or feels and because I lost a lot of hair, this has to be one of the worst wash days ever. Now I'm blessed to have a lot of hair, but I can only imagine if this happened to someone that does not have a lot of hair, it would be very detrimental. So because of this, I would definitely not recommend these products. I'm used to losing only this much hair on wash days. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!